Okay, we're just waiting here. Okay, I think we're we're live. Uh, going out on uh, Facebook. This is our big Facebook show, as we know, and uh, we got some people waiting. And uh, I'm going to uh, let me see here. I got to get rid of a few things here that I don't need. Oh boy, uh, let's see here. Let me admit. Uh, well, I'm going to admit all even though there are some of our night people here, which uh, isn't uh, the usual thing that we do. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is our, let me make sure that we're going out on uh, on uh, Facebook. Uh, here, let me just, uh, let me just uh, do this and take a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're on Facebook. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, look, boo. Uh, All the people we got Facebook. already. Some, uh, wait, here, let some just, wait a minute. Uh, Hold on a second. I got turn something down here uh hey alex i got fauci's little prick in my arm <laughs> oh, oh. did you really yeah i, I thought, don't know why I, thought I was gonna get rammed with his johnson but they gave me pfizer i see hold on a second. <laughs> let me just let me just figure out what I'm, why i'm having some problems here with audio they told me the opposite of that other stuff they sell if in four hours i'm, I'm doing okay i don't have to seek medical help <laughs> It just just walked in the door. I had to drive an hour and a half to get it. Really? Yep. But you got it. Yep. You little prick. Okay. Yeah, right in my arm. <laughs> yeah. That's I, nice. I was upset. My wife went and they this this guy rammed her with a Johnson, but that was <laughs> she was in the earlier group. Yeah. Uh, uh, here comes Jeff Stein. We got we got Shecky Mandy. Hey Mandy. How are you, Steve hey. Bender? Charlie hey. Wallace. Lee at Lenla Frisco, uh, and Alan, who's usually with us on our night show, Andrew Deutsch, Mike Chisholm, as you notice, Alan, most of the people here you've never seen before, except for Charlie Wallace. So, That's correct. Yeah. Hello, Shecky. How you doing? No complaints. This is the guy I haven't seen for a year yet. God, I, if I, I ever have to see you again, then you're going to have no um, nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, because he said it all, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, I, I almost find it difficult to believe that we haven't seen each other physically in a year. Because we have this, you know? Yeah, time goes quickly, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then we talk on the phone. And right. uh, this is all the stuff we would normally do if we were together. But I would just like to be able to see you. And get on that subway and go out there. Although I hear Marjorie. Subways are very bad right now. Now, what do you mean they're bad? Well, Teresa won't take it. And she she said there's a lot of crime. A lot of crazies are in there. Really? Did you? There have been that? crazies in there for the last year, Marjorie. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. But that doesn't make it safe for you to go on that train. I've had no trouble a few times I've done it. Yeah. Well, I have no. I take a bus. I've been taking Look, buses. What, what could possibly? And you can't happen? get into trouble on a bus. What could possibly? Well, happen? it's been pretty empty. Yeah, but what could happen, Marjorie? So are the trains. Yeah. What could possibly happen? Hello, hello, Scott. How are you? Um, Jeffrey doesn't shot. have a picture. Jeff, are you there? Yeah. And you don't have Turn your video on. Turn your video. On. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's Alex. naked again. Oh, I see boy. my name. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, your name's there. Just click on the camera. See, there's a camera there. Uh, of course not. <laughs> see, oh, uh, we're all the way over at the... Oh, well, he muted himself. <laughs> almost to the right. You have mute, but then right next to it, you have stop video and start video. Start video, yeah. Are you, it, can you hear us? Do you yeah. see it? Now we don't even have audio from it. Turn off for your audio. You know, it's audio There's a off. sign of Jeff Stein count as a person on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> because we got 12 yeah. people here, which is really nice. I'd like to be able to brag we had 12 people, but you know, I don't know whether to count him or not. Jeff, like you have Paul's to click, you have to click with your right hand, not your left. Jeff, you need help. <laughs> Jeff? Unmute yourself. Unmute Jeff. yourself. Oh well. Poor guy. Uh, then we only have eleven people so far. Unmute. Unmute. There you unmute. go. There you go. Unmute. There we go. Now, now, you're, the now you're unmuted. Now you've got to un 
or it, it put video you, un yourself. Unmute your video. I don't know. What's the opposite of un un uh, unmute your video? I brought well, my they, expert. You don't here. mute or unmute video. It's you need cool. Pam. Call Pam. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hey, Hi, guys. Hey, everybody. There we go. Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does Pam count as two? No. Yeah. Pam I'm counts here. as two. I didn't even see the picture. I don't know where you are, but I'm here for about two minutes. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Talk to you. Yeah. Bye -bye. Okay. Sounds good, Marge. Okay. You're looking healthy today, Jeff. I don't know what it is. You need the sunlight yeah. coming in through, streaming in through the window. I got a haircut. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. nice. Where'd you get your hair cut? On the top of his head. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> the problem was the lady who's been cutting my hair for like 30 years said, never again. What does that mean? She cut your hair and then she Quit. said, never again? She says, I'm not doing anybody. She's retiring. I, I retired. Did so she never refer you to someone so, else? Uh, wait, no. Wait a minute. Are we indicating here that you getting a haircut forced her to get out of the business? <laughs> over I don't there. think so. I don't think so. Well, I have well, I have a great I have a great barber. She's really terrific. Anytime uh, I need her, she actually but he makes doesn't tip. Calls. She makes he doesn't calls. tip. <laughs> he doesn't tip. What? And I think I'm going to need one again soon. Here. Only unless you tip. Oh, right. I know you people are saying, how do you tell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mandy, how's everything uh, in Georgia? It's, it's, it's going. I'm finally out of tax hell, I think. Oh, like, oh, oh, great. I was just busy the last couple weeks. Oh, so you had taxes <laughs> to do for the company. Well, it's, it's you know, tax time tax season. It's CPA soon. Right. <laughs> Yeah, but do you CPA have that sending me a lot of stuff to do? And yeah. so. do you have that problem, Marjorie? I'm dealing with it with our accountant. I mean, I'm not, he's the one that does all the work, but I have to prepare everything. We're finished with ours. Your hair is especially curly today. Yeah. Who are you talking to? You. You. Well, can I tell everybody? You look this great. Is 16 months of no dye. I got my fourteen hundred dollars. What what did you say, Charlie? I got my fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, you got it? You got I it. I got it. <laughs> Good for you, because we wow. found out we're not getting it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And, and you know what? why? Because we would get it, but Marjorie, part of her income is oh. considered the rent on the apartment she owns. Oh, the one my tenant. Yeah. So consequently, we're up about a hundred and around one hundred eighty thousand, is it, or something like that? We're above what couples. Can we're we're get. above the amount. Uh, I am too. You are too. Yeah, me yeah. too. I am too. Me too. Oh, me too. oh. that's okay. I I don't need it. I have a no. job. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I I know how you. Feel. I would I just put it in my account. I, I wouldn't stimulate you. the economy with it. I agree with you. I mean, I I would say that Marjorie and I, if we got a check, I would it, it would be what twenty eight hundred bucks, something like that. Uh, I would feel kind of guilty about it. Well, I'd like to see. I'd like, to, feel, huh? I'd like to see the Trump supporters mail their checks back. Let's see if that happens. Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. <laughs> They're spending them. I'm signature on it. I can't cash it. What What'd you say, Shecky? I said it doesn't have a Trump signature on it, so I can't. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but the Trump supporters used their checks to buy those Biden "Can I Cross the Border" T-shirts, where they went and rounded up those guys. A friend of, a friend of mine in in Mexico, who who's a, a business associate of mine, told me that there was a T-shirt shop in town, and uh, someone came across the border and paid for those shirts and rounded up all the teenagers so they would go on the same day and get media oh. attention. Well, you know, wow. we only have one person here from the San Francisco Bay Area, but you know where they're going to move all these kids that are coming across the border? Oh, where? Your apartment? The, the old NASA um, yeah. facility in Northern California. Ames? Yeah. Where? Sunnyvale. Huh? Where's that? Uh, I can't remember now. It's, 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 uh, it's Mo Moffat Airfield. Is it oh. Moffat Airfield? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, that, oh, so. yeah. That's so. too close to home. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> 
Do you think, um, I, I'm thinking it's a political mistake not to not for Biden not to put his signature on these checks. Let people know that here uh, you're working did you, from Joe did Biden. You look at, but did you look at the signature before you cashed it? Who gives a shit? And in fact, no, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't think it's a political mistake. I think it's, a, it, it, we're giving an example of how an adult president behaves. Yes. It's not about uh, him. You're right. You're right. It's, it's not about him. When you I don't when I write, a, yeah, I, I agree. Obviously, it's not about him, but I th think it helps the Democratic Party to say we're, we've well, done I, this for you. I loved it where every time Trump would sign a bill, he would then hold it up like this, like I made a duty. It is <laughs> ugly. It is ugly, India. Charlie's trying to say something. Yeah, yeah. I, I think what Biden should do is on every check he should have a note that this is the money that the Republicans did not want you to have. There you yeah. go. But they but wanted they you to have. Six months ago, six months ago, they were the same amount of money. So, you know. yeah. And well, if Mr. Trump had won the election, they'd be happy to give him. What? It's by the way, we're we're getting dangerously close to getting political here. <laughs> yeah. There's just one one more one more thing, Alex. Mm -hmm. So I was having a conversation with a friend, going, "Oh my God, Biden's giving all this money to people in prison." Mm -hmm. The last two bills that were yeah. approved went to prisoners. Yep. It's nothing new, and and they left it in because the Republicans wanted it. Wow, that was one of the one of the concessions was that, in the in those negotiations when the senators went and said mm -hmm. we're not going to help you, it's it's just, the whole thing is it between the t-shirts and rounding them up and all that stuff it's all political theater. I'm sorry, Alan, I was mm -hmm. yeah. oh no that, no that's okay. I think it's because they want all their people in jail to get the check. <laughs> yep, Republican next, next week. Uh -huh. next week. Uh, hey, how's that? Where's our Georgia this, person? This is barely political. <laughs> Much more important, Meghan Markle, according to her friends, plans to run for president. <laughs> to run for president. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second. Me, yeah. This yeah. is too much for my little little brain. It was Dude. announced this morning her friends were leaking that information. Oh god. Who? She I'm was Canadian? She's an American citizen. I'm pretty sure that's why she didn't give up her passport. No, she has an exploratory committee set up. I heard that last week. Yeah. Why does she think anybody would vote for her for president? Because Oprah's going to support her, she right. hopes. Don't you have to be born in the U.S. to run for president? Yeah, but she was yeah. born. She was born she in the U.S. Born 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 here. Oh, I thought you Did you repeat who you said? Huh? Who are you talking about? Megan Markle. Oh, Megan Markle. Ma 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 kidding. She is not kidding. Margle Megan. Michael Margle Megan. <laughs> Approved in the 80s. Hey, they she both was great right on Suits. Was she? Yeah. I never watched her on that show. I watched it every week, man. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think she's an attractive woman. I think okay. she is a smart she belongs woman. on a soap opera. And, well, she is in a soap opera. Now, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, as the uh, monarchy turns, <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I don't know what to think about that whole thing, except that I have a tendency to believe that that you know that Harry felt trapped, and he yeah. felt trapped for a very positive reason, and that was he's never going to be king because Charles oh. isn't his father. <laughs> right. That's what I was gonna say. He's he was probably already just to say oh, is not even really legitimate anyway. Yeah. What the what? idea that the royal family is racist. Now that's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Believable, but oh, I, I don't think they they're racist. How could they be? They've never met a black person. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I mean, come on. It, it, it's uh it, it's interesting that uh I mean, Harry, Harry has the least to lose by doing all of this because he's what sixth in line for the throne now. Yeah, but they're already getting production stuff. All kinds of deals are being made. Yeah, yeah. they started a foundation. By the way, did you hear it today? Obama has been nominated for an Academy Award. <laughs> for what? Yeah. Well, he produced a film for Netflix under his Netflix deal. He uh -huh. and uh, his lovely wife, Michelle. Michelle. Mm -hmm. And uh, the two of them are producers of a film called Crip Camp, 
which is about a bunch of kids who are crippled who have been going to this thing called Crip Camp for years, and it's old videos of it and so on and so forth, and it's supposed to be a very good little film. Oh, I, I, I actually thought it was about gangs. Well, I, thought it was about <laughs> gangs. <laughs> I did. I, mean, I saw it was produced by Barack Obama. I was like, what the hell? Crip Camp. I love it. I love the ad that all the presidents did without uh, Trump. Without Trump, yeah. yeah. Oh boy, yeah. Well, he already got he got his shot in January. Yes. Yep. Secretly. It's like for a guy who said this will go away any day, he certainly was the first in line to go get it. Oh yeah. And, and not talk about it. And supposedly right. there were other people in anybody. the White House who were all lining up to try and get the shot back in back in January before they got. Had to, you know, leave the palace. But he could yeah. have at least done some good and said, you know, I got this. You should all get it. Yes. Yeah. Here's, a, you know, as somebody who hasn't had it yet, and I think he's, is he 65 or not, is Cuomo. He today yeah. was saying he hadn't gotten it, but he's going to get one and he's going to go to a black church. <laughs> to get it. <laughs> Oh, all the Hail Marys you can throw we have one point. guy on our night show who made a very uh, perfect statement, really, and that was, uh, you know, every time there's another woman who comes forward, the age goes down five years. <laughs> 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 Better stay away from well, my did granddaughter. You see, did you see the first wife, Terry Kennedy? I was so scared of him at the end of our marriage. I was locking myself in the bathroom at night. You're a <laughs> Kennedy. You were a Kennedy. You had to stay in this house. You had nowhere else to go. Yeah, right. There was there was no family. She's no has no family. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'd have to go to a homeless shelter if I left my husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's Alan. abusing me, but I had you know I locked myself in the bathroom <laughs> at night. So, in the news today, AstraZeneca is being halted yeah. in a lot of countries. I heard. Because of blood clotting. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh really? Here, yep. Today, the Netherlands, <clears throat> Ireland, and Norway also uh, went into it in, with, with the other European countries. Wow. Germany, France, and Italy joined the group. Wow. According, wow. according to the news. And it, Italy is shutting down again. It's shutting down. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shutting down all of these? Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, but you can that, go to the Dallas Cowboy game with a hundred thousand of your closest friends. Oh yeah, <laughs> wide open. Have you seen any of the spring? Have you seen any of the footage of spring break? Yeah, it's oh, it's in, in Florida, unbelievable what's yeah. going on. Even Florida, yeah. Florida. Florida. Yeah. Well, they don't think they can get it. You know, I mean. Maybe you, you, know, you got kit. You got kit. You got well, kit. I, I was going to say that's weird because at least. Um, where my daughter goes, she goes to University of Georgia. They didn't have spring break. They canceled it. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure all the colleges in Georgia just didn't have a spring break. She still went to Miami this past weekend. <laughs> I've arrested what, what 100 plus people to, in Miami. What, what has happened to Georgia lately? They seem to have gone sane. <laughs> well, know. I mean, my sister got an appointment. My sister's 57 and she got an appointment as a caregiver to my mom, which I mean, I am too, but she's very much more wanting to get the vaccine. I mean, I'm going to get it, but she got finally got an appointment, I think for today, but it turns out, I think today they opened it up to 55 and older and high risk people. I don't know how oh. you prove your high risk, but I'll be able to get it in a month then. Good. I'll be Good. Next month. And get it. And get yep. it. Oh, well, I am. I'm totally getting it, but I didn't want to get ahead of anybody else. Yeah. 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 Here, in Ohio, they, here in Ohio, they dropped the age to 50 on the 11th. And then you go online. I spent hours dinking around on the sites. I thought uh, uh, CVS stood for can't vaccine soon or can't vaccinate. <laughs> and then I finally got an appointment an hour and a half from here. Mm -hmm. And then for the second one, I went back on the website and was able to book my second dose about 20 minutes from the house. We're still 65 so here in California. It's actually wow, working. It's 50 in Texas, too. It's, it's how, what in Texas? It's 50. The age is 50 in Texas. Really? Uh, Really well, and also, you're, 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 more to, you're more likely to die in Texas because you don't know where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to say, you know, my, what? Mandy, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, speaking of Texas, my, since my daughter, other daughter lives in Texas and she's been very nervous about it, 
she's volunteering at a vaccination hub and she's so she hoping that she'll be able to get it. Yeah. Good for her. And her boyfriend's going to go tomorrow to volunteer and he's hopefully going to get it too. Yeah. Oh, great. Terrific. Yes, uh, Marjorie Miller. What I would is suggest my wife, but she doesn't have the last name Bennett. <laughs> Neither do you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Neither do you. Yeah, Bolo, come on. Here, Marjorie. What I would suggest, and my doctor suggested, that you laminate this card because it shows you've had the first and second. Airplanes are going to start requiring it. Going to concerts and sporting events are going to yep. start requiring it. You watch. Get it laminated. Well, they, and also yeah. make a photo on your phone. Well, they, I wish I'd have thought of that, Marjorie. The tattoo was stupid then. People are going to go crazy if they have to have that to get on the airplane. Do you know how much bitching is going to happen? Oh, oh, yeah. I think it's going to be worldwide. You can go. You can go on eBay right now and buy those cards by the hundred. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I already yes. looked. Yes. Yep, yes. I look Yes, and, and the other, yeah, of course. And so oh the other God. thing, somebody announced that it's still 65 and up, older in California. That's incorrect. As of today, it's been all over the news this weekend. I don't know. Uh, but people 50 and older oh my with, co God. with comorbidities can get the yeah. shot now in California. Yeah. In other words, if you're fat like me. Well, I know, and, I know at least seven women in New York State who have Cuomo morbidities. <laughs> so, just just show up with a cigarette and I'll give you the... <laughs> Do you, uh, you know, I what, what pissed me off about what's going on with Cuomo is, yeah, okay, he's, he's a jerk. Everybody knew that. He was always a jerk. But, hey, he, he was an effective enough governor. Sure. Yeah. Very good governor. Very good governor. So here's here's the question. I mean, I look at guys like Schumer and Gillibrand and uh, and and uh, Ocasio Cortez, and they're all asking for him to resign. But you brought it up to me, Shecky. There are no uh, no no lie detectors. No, they're not under uh, oh, oath. And they're not under oath. oath. Shut and up. It's all coming from Rupert Murdoch, who started this whole thing. Yeah. So uh, shut up, Schumer, and shut up, Gillibrand, who I can't stand, yes. and shut up, Ocasio Cortez, and give this guy a chance to either prove his guilt or innocence. And once these people testify under oath, okay, I'll, I'll listen. Then I'll listen. Yes. So, yeah. so piling on isn't a legal strategy? No, it is an illegal. Yeah, God, I, all those years I didn't go to law school, I didn't learn anything. You know, and I, I, you know, I've heard, I've heard horrible. What? Who's dinging? Mate, Someone's at the door. Sorry. Oh, it's you? me. Fine. Sorry. That's okay. I my my thing dings here every now and then. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's good. I'm so dingy. You take Viagra. Uh, uh, no, it, 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 it's it's just that I uh, am bothered by it only because. These are all women who are saying stuff, and but accusation alone isn't enough. Accusation it is with, nowadays with oath, with oath yes. and lie detector tests, more oaths than lie detector tests because they can be uh, jimmied with. Um, it should be the order of the day. And sure, and and, and, but, but and why does it happen once a week? Why didn't all six <laughs> of them, seven, the minute that first woman said something, go? Me too, me too. Yeah. Instead, it's like once a week. Oh, yeah, me. Hey, I just well, remember. I, I have to admit it uh, uh, now. Andrew Cuomo, when I was uh, <laughs> at, at, at the at the uh, uh, home in uh, in Albany, um, he blew me. So uh, <laughs> you can't add wish. that to all of this. You and by wish. the way, I'm just as credible as any of these women because, well, I haven't been under oath yet or taken a lie detector. And you're not and complaining, you and you're not complaining about it. Or you have a lady friend who was having an affair with a Republican <laughs> person, and you Ooh. you told me she liked men with in power. Well, well, I'll say who it was. I mean, it was, uh, what's her name? Uh, Judith, Judith Regan. Regan. Who was going with Bernard Carrick. 
yeah. years ago, oh, wow. who was the partner of Rudy Giuliani and, mm -hmm. and Giuliani Carrick Partners or whatever. It was also at one time so the in the New York City, he was the mm. commissioner or something or other. No, he had been police chief. He was police chief. Police chief. Police it, says, it says here on the news that there's a, a psychic who says that he groped her in, in her sleep. <laughs> so, I think I think that's admissible. Well, I mean, uh, Marjorie was molested when he was her imaginary friend. <laughs> right through the television. All I'm saying is, enough with this. You know, let these things go to court or let them prove themselves out. Oh, no, we don't want to completely let him get the marijuana a woman's involved. claims, but at the same time, we want them backed up as well for the safety of the man. Right, but let him let him get the marijuana thing through first. He, he was talking about that. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, the first thing I might be, I'm getting marijuana passed, because he knows that once we start smoking marijuana, we'll forget about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw who's planning to run for governor now. De Blasio. Yeah. Yeah, he's running. He's running for governor. Oh of my course God. he is. Well, because and that's why he's also saying that this governor should resign. Right. Yeah. He doesn't say. I knew the uh, last governor. Uh, governor, uh, what was his name? Uh, the blind guy. Yeah. Attacky. The no, blind guy. The blind guy. Good sir. Oh, your no, friend. Your friend. Too. Yeah, he came out. Only had one with in your apartment. He was Alex's friend. Your friends I, with Elliot Spitzer? Really? No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> we had a, we had a lieutenant governor who was blind. I'm trying to remember his name now. It's just my He's mind. A really good friend. Como. Uh, yeah. Was no, he, we had dinner with him on a couple of occasions. We had lunch. No, I had lunch with him at your apartment. Uh, did We did have lunch here, didn't we? Yeah. 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 Um, nice man. Correct. Very nice man. A nice man. Yeah. Uh, and it's always there? nice to have somebody at your uh, Patterson. Uh, pa Patterson. I was right, Patterson. I said it three times. Oh, David Patterson. <laughs> you can't yell loud enough, Charlie. I didn't hear you, Charlie. Yeah, we're Patterson. all talking over you. <laughs> I, I heard him say it at least uh, once. Nice guy, nice guy. And I uh, wish we were still talking to each other. We haven't talked to each other in quite I a while. I told time. you you should give him a call. Well, I, I did get a hold of him, and I never got. No, you there. didn't. I, ne I did. And he, no, never, he never replied back. You know, sometimes Marjorie, he, well, sometimes you get... he, he got it. He was like the head of the Democratic Party in New York State now or something. He was blind. Yeah. And he, oh, bl it blinded sight, away. Because all I know there, is when we had lunch blind. with him, when we had lunch with him, he left. Okay. And then he suddenly turned left and walked home. And he didn't have a cane or anything. Remember that? No, he was sight impaired. He was not sight blind. impaired. You know, if he got close enough to something, he could. Almost see. blind. Yeah, I think you, you don't have to be completely blind to be legally blind. Right, right. Um, and um, but he was do, a nice guy, but he said he didn't want the job. <laughs> you know, he, he, he wanted to be senator. He wanted to be and senator. And he became governor, and then he had to appoint Gillibrand. Or something in government. Oh, he like, wanted, he to wanted to be senator, Alex. Senator, yeah. Wow. Yeah, because yeah, then he could be there for 40 years. Yeah, he's right. Right. yeah. His father, if I'm not mistaken, ran Basil Patterson. Yeah, who was a very well-known politician. Well, he was part of the Clayton Powell cabal. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, but still, he was a big politician. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. We didn't say he wasn't corrupt. We just said he was, a, <laughs> you know, he was a. Politician. You know, he was the mayor of Harlem, Basil yeah. Patterson. You know that. You know that group. <laughs> Yeah. Now, two of the people on this panel are in Texas right now, Charlie Wallace and uh, Scott Boddicker. Scott, have you gotten your shot yet? Or are you, yes. you you've gotten it? One or two? First, first. first one. <laughs> when do you get your second one? Uh, 25th. 25th. Ah, good. Then then you can they can I in our place when you got your second one, they congratulated you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you find they just told where to go sit for? 15 minutes yeah, yeah. But, but they said congratulations the guy said congratulations and sent me to sit and then the guy where we were sitting said congratulations because <laughs> he saw wow. the joint he saw the joint well the what joint. happened was tell him what happened this is wonderful you tell him <laughs> no i did, didn't happen to me i didn't see it happen i had a backpack with me and a couple you know there's like two pockets on the front and one was open when i put it down as they were talking to me 
a joint flew across the <laughs> Druggy. But by anyway. the time we got to the point where he had to sit for 15 minutes, the guy already knew it. We were like a celebrity by then. Yeah. <laughs> and she tried to give him the joint, but he said, I can't take it. I can't take yeah. it. You know. Marjorie, you ought to get on the night show and defend yourself. Just about once a week, Alex talks about your farts and your can of spray. On the oh, you used to talk, Alex. Oh, to talk. Shit. oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe he brings that up. He is the worst. At I least once a week. Side. I can suppress my farts. You <laughs> come, you just move and it happens. Is that why your eyes bug like that? <laughs> what old people do yeah this is what <laughs> old people do it, it's a, it's the constant get here instead of i love you you want to fuck now <laughs> it's did you fart <laughs> and we have the spray on both ends of yeah, the bed has, we, yeah, have, we hear about that too yeah <laughs> and, and then she threatens me that I had better spray because if I don't and she farts, she's not going to spray. <laughs> you haven't touched and, and what I should be doing next time is not spraying and then have her not spray and see which two of which of the two of us last the longest <laughs> without have to, having to finally give in. This is what happens when you get old. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. it. Well, we, we lost. You scared uh, Mandy and, away. Yeah, we scared Mandy away. Well, she <laughs> she does this while she's working, and it's yeah. very nice of her to call because she's a, everybody writes me and goes, "Where, where was Mandy this week?" And I, go, oh. no. I wonder if Andrew's at work with this big sign behind him. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like the. Uh, That's a I like that company. I like that. I forgot I had that on. Too yeah. many meetings on the night show. I use a green screen. Uh, he bought yeah. a green screen, Andrew. Oh, did he? Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it working? Working all right for you? Oh yeah, it works fine. It's just the camera I have has too wide an angle, so I have to do a close up on me. And well, use use the software so you can box yourself in and do. Uh, I know I can do that. You know. Yeah, that's what. You know, when I do this, it's, it's, it's. Uh, where is it? Where are you going? Oop, wrong button. It's it's a little <laughs> green around me. Oh yeah. Okay, there and then you, you can. Yeah, then you can do it there. Oh, he's tiny. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Yeah, I can wander around this wander around this guy. <laughs> That's great. Hey, I got my eye on you. Hey, I can buy a green screen now. That. <laughs> Actually, the, the, the one I got's really good. It's it it just goes right down into a, a unfurls because he's arms on it and you just oh i like that you just push it down it goes right down <laughs> <laughs> that's what you know. this is what i hate about zoom is that they give what? people this crap to you i didn't give it to me i took it <laughs> <laughs> i think alan's the shadow that's great i, I hit the wrong button no, you'll like it you'll like it yeah. Alex, show them your background. Show them your background. Oh, uh, we've seen it at night. It's not oh, pretty. <laughs> you, know, you know, Alex, you get in these stupid networking meetings and they go, Can you give your elevator speech? I go, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. And then I can invite uh, my favorite dancer to join me in the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and, and sometimes he comes out with his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I can do this stuff till the cows come home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you have flying pigs too, Andrew? No, I got some chickens. Okay. He's kind of off. Yeah. I th I think it's a good idea. What do you use I, to I, switch those things? <laughs> is your keyboard to switch those things or what? No, I use a I've got a, a see if I can make it so I can show it to you. This is a my tablet and each of those buttons is a macro. It's a oh, program. Wow. It's it's very expensive. It's $13 to get the program. It's called Touch Portal. <laughs> Touch Portal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, afterwards I'll tell you about well, it. I use a thing called uh, Elgato Stream Deck. Yeah, at least for the other show. You know. Yeah, I have. I this is this has more function than that does. Yeah. Oh, Those yeah. are great. Send, send me the uh, link to that. I will. It's uh, it's thirteen dollars for the professional version. Well, I don't know, Marjorie. <laughs> is it in the budget? 
<laughs> it's your budget. Yeah. Maybe if you guys will spend. Anyway, um, uh, too much, too much fun. If we each send Alex a dollar, then he the can go buy it. You know what? You guys are boring. I'm going to go play poker with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> show, them your, show them your New York background now. He only has one. No, no, no. I can't. Oh, he's got here. I haven't got the green screen up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's nice. It flickers. Uh, once in a while, Alex takes his cap off, and you can see the moon rising in the background. <laughs> and I stub my toe on it. <laughs> and every once in a while, somebody jumps off one of the buildings. Yeah, I like this. That's right. <laughs> oh, See what you guys are missing by not coming to the nightly meeting? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm asleep. Uh, Len, how's things going with you down uh, where you live? Good. You know, it's uh, starting to open up a little bit. We actually went out to dinner the other night and sat inside. I we did that it. too. So did, did we. You, yeah. Did you ask the supersize? <laughs> uh, too late. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's it's good. It's opening up. You know, we're hoping to get the vaccine because my wife wants to go back to Connecticut to see her daughter graduate mm -hmm. uh, college yeah. in in a six or eight weeks, and we're hoping to get the vaccine before that. Well, I would feel pretty good about getting <clears throat> the plane at this point. Would you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, with, with, I've had the shot, to both shots. Well, yeah, and I'd wear a mask, and mm -hmm. I could probably. I think. Would you feel safe, Shecky? You're the inveterate traveler, Absolutely. huh? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You know, as I joke, I'll wear my silly little mask and sit there and find. Well, we we just want to make sure we have the vaccine before we do that. I don't know that. Absolutely. I want to, yeah. Absolutely. Good protection for yourself. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready to go on a cruise. Oh, me too. <laughs> I'm ready to go. How about go. you, Shecky? You're the cruise goer. Are you ready to go on a cruise? Well, I have one booked for Christmas week, if it happens. It probably okay. will at this point, I would imagine. Yeah. My Alaska cruise for July has, of course, been canceled. Yeah, that's the nice, mm -hmm. that's a great cruise, I hear. What, Alaska? Well, yeah. Yeah. I've oh, done Alaska. it. Really good. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think people that, are going to have that, wonderful course, Thanksgiving this year. Two two of the first cruise ships I was on back in the eighties have now been scrapped. I keep seeing videos of these things getting torn apart, and I'm just sitting there going, "God, the things I did on that ship." <laughs> <laughs> but the cruise lines have also ordered like two hundred new cruise ships. I know. So yeah. They can't be doing as bad as they're trying to tell us. I, yeah. I, went on, I went on the cruise to Alaska. It was nice at night. They put a, it, during the day, they put a bowl of fresh fruit in your room and we had a balcony. So at night when you're traveling and you see the ocean, I would throw the bananas and oranges <laughs> overboard. Was this during COVID? No, no. This oh, was no. What, years what, ago. what, you didn't like the fruit they were serving or what? No, no. It was like bananas, oranges, apples. You should have something exotic. You know, I, I, in Alaska, I, what's exotic up yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Well, bananas. That's Bear, bananas, I guess. Yeah, Grizzly I love the fruit. yeah I don't I, no, I, I don't know. They're just Andy, you ever taken a cruise at all? Me? Mandy. Oh, I said Andy. She looks uh, like she No, and I was actually going to take one in 2020. You guys look so much alike, Andrew. What, what, were you, what were you saying, Mandy? No, I was just going to say I'd never taken one. And my friend had talked me into we were going to do one in May. And then, of course, they were shut down. But my daughter went on one at spring break last year, right? The, she literally stepped off the boat the day before Donald Trump shut them all down. Oh. Well, I think that's where, I'm pretty sure she had COVID. Well, I'm pretty sure that's where she got it. How, how do you, how, why do you think she had COVID? Did she have all Well, the because she started, she, when she got home, she felt mm -hmm. kind of yucky for a couple of days. And then she called me up and said, it's the weirdest thing. She was like, I don't really feel stuffed up, but I cannot taste anything or smell oh, yeah. anything. And this she was in it. March yeah. wow. before anybody oh. started talking about that symptom. Yeah. So yeah, a couple of sure. weeks later, that's when it kind of came out. So she never went and got tested because we she back then you couldn't just go get tested right, right. they didn't even yeah. have the test yeah but she didn't get her taste back for six months wow really? oh is wow she, is she in college she is and and don't they test her at college every 
No, now, not at that time. You know, not at that time. It was a year ago. It was uh, March of last year. Because I have a one of my granddaughters is in college now. And yeah. she gets inspected. I, I don't think and they all they did was take their yeah, back, back when she got it, back when Mandy's <laughs> got tough. it, which was March, you say. They weren't well, yeah, they were doing all they did was yeah. take temperatures. Nobody was wearing masks right. back then or anything uh, like that. I mean, that I mean, yeah. In March and April of last year is when New York State started going through it massive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I look back at the last year and living here in Manhattan. I mean, Shecky at least lives in Queens in a house that he owns and can isolate himself. Uh, we've lived here in Manhattan, and we even have a friend we think had it back then. Who? Uh, uh, Steve Weiner. Um, did, 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 he but, thinks he had it. He thinks he had it, but he was sick for like about three weeks. So, uh, you know, there's, like there's a good possibility he had it. But have you went, met Steve Weiner? Not exactly. <laughs> the yeah, we, 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 <laughs> young we, man on the... Uh, what? I said, not exactly the healthiest man in America to begin with. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, I feel like I kept dodging the bullet. I mean, we, at one point, and I, you know, I'm going to remember for the rest of my life, which may be about three weeks, who knows, uh, I'm going to remember the fact that we lived at least three, four months of our life, that whenever we got a delivery, we took the package wearing gloves, Put and it we in let it sit for a couple of days. It, sprayed yeah. it. And we let it sit for a couple of days. And, and we let it sit for a couple of days before we'd open it. Yeah. It was the right thing to do before you knew better. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> exactly. We the, 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 finally somebody finally said, I think we found that maybe you can't get it from packages. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Uh, but we didn't know, and we were we were doing everything. We we wouldn't leave the house. Marjorie wouldn't leave. I wouldn't leave. I don't yeah. go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, now what I feel with having the second shot, I feel a certain liberation. Like yesterday, I went out wearing one mask instead of double mask. <laughs> no, but that's a, that's a big step forward for breathing. Just to be clear, on your face, right? <laughs> Just asking. Yeah, yeah. It's about the only valuable thing I have left. <laughs> Mask or your face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. boy, I am. I am so. Um, I'm. You know, I, I. I didn't you feel a sense of relief, Rick, when you got your second shot? You know, just kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So someone who I will not name because nobody would know them anyway. <laughs> any. Explain to me on the phone last week, he hasn't been injected yet because he's in California, but he refuses to get Moderna or Pfizer because it fucks with your DNA. Oh, oh yeah, I've heard that one. And he only wants Johnson and Johnson. And I'm like, oh, so you want with talcum powder in it. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> hey, wants to get he wants to get get he hear this information from. What were you saying, Andrew? He wants to get jabbed with a Johnson. It's okay. We know guys like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Johnson, two Johnsons. I didn't know Moderna fucked with my DNA. Did you? Well, you know, no. is this is this a particularly good looking guy? Mm. <laughs> then I think maybe anything that would fuck with his DNA might be a positive. <laughs> yeah. But you know, yeah, I, you would know if DNA. I told you the name. He spends all day listening to Fox News and Michael Savage and yeah. oh, Jesus. No that guy's still alive. <laughs> he used to read Doc Savage when I was a kid. I didn't well, know that guy's still around. I didn't either. Yeah, I don't understand these people who don't want to get I tell you Cuomo said something today. He, had, he was he was giving a speech and he's hiding behind uh, uh, vaccine centers now. So that the press <laughs> won't ask him any questions. So he was at a vaccine center today, opening it up and everything. And he did say one thing that I thought was terrific. He said, "There's some there's people out there who say they're they're not going to uh, uh, take the uh, vaccine because it's dangerous." He said, "You know what's more dangerous than that? Not getting, taking the vaccine. Yeah, getting COVID. Yeah, yeah. 
So, you know, I mean, um, uh, I don't understand the reluctance on the part of some people. You you probably have friends, Mandy, down in Georgia who don't want to take the shot, right? Oh, uh, it's so annoying. There's a girl, <laughs> a girl I know that she's at our fitness studio and she's constantly posting on Facebook about the jab and how it's just all, we're all guinea pigs and the, the mm-hmm. government is just trying to control us and blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah. Yeah, they're fucking with your DNA. <laughs> well, we are. Yeah, yeah, it's we just are sad the, people have gotten to that level of mistrust. The only thing that she's Thank right about, Trump. the only thing that she's really right about is we are all kind of guinea pigs because this has not been okayed for general use. It's for compassionate use. So mm. they, they're getting their statistics now off of us, but that's fine with me. You know, but we saw Sabin. Where did they get yeah. their statistics back in the oh, 50s? Listen, Hi. back when Salk invented the polio shot, mm-hmm. kids died from it. Kids oh, really? died from it, yes. From and that's why, when, that's why when Sabin came along with the, uh, the sugar cube, sugar cube uh, which is great. they found that his vaccine didn't kill kids. But the, the, the truth of the matter was that when Salk first released the vaccine, there were quite a few kids who died from it, from that shot. I just remember as a child, you couldn't go in the water in August. I don't know what August meant, but you couldn't mm-hmm. go into a pool or a lake or an ocean in August. Well, it's probably when Franklin Roosevelt got it in 1920. So, oh, well, if he got it in 1920, we can't didn't go in the water. he get it from like drinking out of a water fountain or something? Was it no, like dirty water? Got it in the lake up in Camp Bell. Something about swimming. Yeah, he was swimming. Yeah, he, was swimming. He, he went swimming one night, one day. Yeah. And got out of the water and the next that night he started having chills and by the next morning he couldn't walk. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Well, polio was transmitted through dirty water and, and no and not really they it, find that what caused polio more than anything else was cleanliness yeah that we had, we had <laughs> you know we had cleaned up there was a time here in new york city i'm sure if shecky's seen the films of new york back in the 1900s when there was horse shit piled up uh, taller than you are on street corners right i now mean it's the, at the, RNC. Filth, the filth that existed was unbelievable but what happened was because kids were constantly you know uh, 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 around it around, around, around it and shit. um exposed to it they got an immunity okay sure. now when we suddenly cleaned up and got the streets clean and then all of a sudden we got to sanitize this or we're going to sanitize that long about the 1930s late, early 40s all of a sudden this thing polio happened because the kids didn't have that immunity. And if you remember, the prime people who got polio were kids. Mm-hmm. It was always kids. In fact, I remember when I was a kid, it was called infantile paralysis. Paralysis. Yes. yes. Okay. Even though an adult got it like, like uh, FDR, but uh, a book I read on the history of polio said it was cleanliness that caused the pro- caused it to happen. That's interesting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I literally used I to sit in dirt like, and just make mud pies. What are you, what are you saying, like, Mandy? I said, I used to just sit in dirt and make mud pies. I mean, I, yeah. I feel like I have <laughs> such a good system. Yeah, but that, that isn't like horse shit. <laughs> you, know, you, you didn't go around making mud pies out of horse shit. Right. <laughs> you know, you know your mother would then run over you and say, don't do that. <laughs> How's everything up in Canada, Mike? I mean, it's... Uh, I spent a lot of time last week. I'm in the financial business, and I had a, I spent a lot of time last week with uh, concerned clients asking me if their life insurance was valid or not if they've taken the shot. There's been a lot of uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there are memes going around saying that your life insurance is invalid if you've taken the oh, shot and you died of COVID and all that. Oh. Um, it's a bunch of horseshit, obviously. I and- would say that if you if you took the shot, logically, an insurance you should get a, you should get a discount. Prob- yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Wait, yeah, no, it's uh, it's a it's a convincing uh, set of memes that's going around saying that insurance companies are, are are invalidating policies because it's an experimental drug. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. terrible. And a lot of people are believing it. So I would I think an insurance time, company speak, uh, would give you a rebate for getting a shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I think I think your life your your life is better insured 
with the shot. Forget well, about. I would say current. the insurance. Well, that's company. common sense. Uh, unfortunately, right. people are not listening to the common sense that we're talking about here. Not here either. You're right. Well, the other common sense is is that uh, the the insurance companies took a big hit this year. It wasn't because people took the vaccine, but the fact that they didn't have it and died of it. Yeah. Okay. Died of COVID. <laughs> I, so I would think the insurance companies would want to almost give you money off on your insurance because you did have the shots. Sure. And yeah. half a million that's, people again, died. common sense. But these uh, these disinformation memes mm -hmm. that are going around are, are, are scaring a lot of people. So, yeah. um, so I, I spent time doing that. I learned a lot about Tucker Carlson last night on John Oliver. That was very. Oh, I can't stand. Oh, I got to watch yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Well, it's yeah, really I never, good. I never heard of this. I never heard some of this stuff. And it was very, very interesting listening to. Uh, Especially seeing some of his early clips. Is it a whole? I didn't know anything about that dude. Is before. his main topic Tucker Carlson? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think he's oh like what? On that, yeah. Well, so it tonight, Alan. well you really... know, I used to be on Tucker Carlson's show every week when it was on MSNBC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard it. Oh, the MSNBC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he used to be a big shot. Leave you him know, alone. I'm going to fart. That's right. I remember he used to be I a really big shot. I really am going to let out with some good ones tonight. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Mike in Canada. He was showing Sean Hannity. Right. I haven't seen it. You, didn't you used to be on the show with Sean? No, Hannity? no, no. Actually, I was on uh, what's his name show. Uh, Hunter. Alan, Holmes. Alan Combs. Alan oh, Combs. Goes Combs and Hannity. Well, yeah. I was on his show once, and Hannity was on with me. This was on all on the phone. This was the radio <laughs> show, and uh, he was just he he. In fact, he. He didn't like me so, he hated me so badly that afterwards he told Combs, never put me on with him again. <laughs> and I took that as a badge of courage. I was going to say, badge of honor. Badge yeah. of honor. Yeah. He's like, well, I kind of, I think I got to him. I was actually fighting him pretty well tooth and nail and, and not necessarily winning, but keeping up really good. Mm -hmm. you know? And at one point I said to him, I said, come on lighten up sean because he was like doing his bit you know i said lighten up i said we're it, it, this just we're all just in show business <laughs> so and he went apoplectic i'm not in show business i'm i said yes you are you know you're on fox you're in he, show business he only he only admits he's in show business when he gets sued for yeah <laughs> for big news yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah then when it's when he gets sued for that he's in show business yeah is it true mike that that in canada they're going to get 100 percent compliance telling that the vaccine is actually made from maple syrup yeah absolutely <laughs> it, the one I, I, heard, I heard that on, on the internets speaking of badges of cur of uh, of honor absolutely yeah yeah, we're pretty I got 100 percent compliant. What are those? Of what are those jerseys in back of you, Mike? Uh that's Marcel Dion, and that's Drew Doughty. I'm a gigantic fan of the hockey team, the Los Angeles Kings. And so, if you go around my office, I've got a whole bunch of oh uh, yeah, yeah, wow. LA King stuff. Wow. Yeah, and Kansas, uh, am I wrong? But wasn't there a time? I seem to remember when I was growing up, everybody looked upon ho ho hockey as like wrestling; that it was phony. Heck no! Oh, no. Don't know about that. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying, oh, this is what. No, that was roller derby. Roller derby. Roller derby. <laughs> yeah. Hockey. Hockey's been religion up here uh, since I was born. Anyway, what's, I, yeah, I in Chicago that, too. What's what's hockey? We love the Blackhawks. <laughs> but I was I, I was brought up in California. We didn't even know what ice was unless it was in a drink. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, that's uh, my man Wayne Gretzky changed that. I got Gretzky over there in the third one. That's cool. the third. He, came down, he came down to the States and, and brought hockey with him. And now there's three yeah. I, I, very I, strong franchises in California. I very have a, 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 a hockey stick that was signed by all the members of the uh, San Jose Sharks. Very cool. Uh, very cool. And uh, so I interviewed them and I asked them a question and they, thought, they looked at me like I was from outer space. Okay. And the question was, my big question is, how do you get all that ice in there to do a play <laughs> hockey? <laughs> I, I hockey can see why water. they would maybe, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I got an answer. I got an answer. A lot of cubes. Okay. How, how deep, how thick do you think that ice is? Well, uh, three or four inches. Uh, yeah. 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 They, they said it was, a, it's an inch. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's why they use the Zamboni all the time. Is yeah. to cover it up and 
you know, resurface yeah, it. So yeah, that, re, uh, re it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not, it's well, not, it's, not it's that because, good. you know, they'll have a basketball game in Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Or a concert night. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. I thought that was a lot. They cover the ice usually. Usually they cover the ice with the right. With they the cover it for the basketball yeah. game. Right. Yeah. They can play ice soccer. That's what they can do. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I mean, I thought it was a logical question to ask because I didn't know shit about hockey, you know, and I wonder how they got asked, all that ice in there. You should have asked him how many point of touchdown was in hockey. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used to spray water over at the park to make an ice rink for us to play hockey on. Right. <laughs> really? They used to play uh, hockey yeah. when I was uh, in uh, high school. Really? You did, yeah. yeah. Wow. Ice hockey? Before? Was that really? yeah, we we had uh, a guy, they had ice then we had a guy named Robert <laughs> on the nighttime show yes. who came out with a question he asked everybody and that was have you ever stolen anything? Jeff admitted that when he was a kid he stole a car. Right. He won. <laughs> he absolutely won. Nobody had yeah. anything like that. You know. Nope. Wow. Nothing is sacred here. Nice. Talk about I think one guy cars said, I was, a, I was a poll watcher here in California and stole the election. You know, I had a girlfriend like to play tonsil hockey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While you were stealing a kiss. Uh, oh, no. it, was, it was more of a loner. It wasn't really a <laughs> story. Yeah. You should have brought a friend along. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, so I mean, it's a, uh, it's been, uh, it's, uh, um, it's a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's weird times we're living in. Boy, I don't, I don't think I've ever lived in times like this. In my life. <laughs> it's yeah. gonna get worse again before it gets better. We're gonna see a fourth wave. Yep. Yeah, it's, especially after spring break. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, they say Texas has a lot of hot spots. Is that true, Charlie? Yeah. yeah. Well, I kind of like the, uh, uh, the, the thing. It's not that great. This uh, South Park vaccination special <laughs> yeah. in which all the old people are going in or coming out from getting their vaccination and going like this to everybody. <laughs> 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 so that's kind of the way I feel. That's a good, yeah, yeah. I bet too. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I got it. I get to do that now too. <laughs> yeah, Shecky got. It. Let's see, Shecky got it. Uh, Steve Bender, you got it, right? Get my second on Friday. Got your second. You can only put up. You feel good. Do you feel good when oh, you? No, I get it. I get it this Friday. Oh, this Friday. Oh, you're gonna feel great. Oh. You know. Oh it's my God! Two Friday, weeks yeah. before it really <laughs> marinates. You know. How about me the day after, Alex? Oh, well, you? Oh, were. you were all sick. Oh yeah, he was sick. <laughs> I was sick as a dog. Yeah, I was fine. Hey. Can I ask a question? Is anybody else excited for Justice League this week, or is that just a, a me thing? Four hours that? of that? Four hours. <laughs> Was that, uh, Zach, what's his name directing it? Snyder, yeah. Yeah, sign me up. I'm watching on midnight. Oh, yeah. Apparently, yeah. it's really excited about it. joyless. There is no well, is that on Disney or what? He, he did such a... Uh, uh, HBO. Max HBO, Plus. okay. Yeah, what I'm was the word, what was the big movie he did the, the comic strip movie that they made into a TV show because they had to because his was so bad. Watchmen. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. I liked his Watchmen adaptation. I liked it, it a lot. Yeah. But... Let I me like know what Watchmen. it's about, okay? You know what's that? Well, let me know what it's about. <laughs> well, we were like about that two hours. With, um... Okay, the, the original <laughs> two book hours. of Watchmen was on, I believe it's Time's 100 Greatest Books of All Time. And he was pretty faithful to the comic book, other than one kind of change he made at the end. He was pretty faithful to it. So it's uh, it's definitely out there. There's no question, but he was faithful yeah. to the book. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I mean I, I'll probably watch Zack Snyder's Justice League, but it's, 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 it's the original good, movie Justice but League, right? No but it's just been expanded. This he said not movie. one no, frame yeah. of what Joss Whedon filmed is in his movie, which makes a lot of sense. It's a completely different... So what did he do? He took the footage and reassembled it? Yeah, so so Zack Snyder turned in a film that, you know, and the rumors, whatever you want to believe, uh, the film he turned in, he said it was going to be part one and part two, which Warner was not happy about. Then he had a family tragedy, and they were really, really at uh, button heads. So they use that as an excuse for him to kind of move away. They brought Joss Whedon in. Joss Whedon 
filmed some filler scenes. Um, they completely re-edited, re reimagined the fi- footage that was there and made a completely new movie, which was not the sequel to Batman versus Superman. It was not a very good movie. That's no. my opinion. But this was an already released movie before. Oh yeah, this has it. been released. Yeah, this was the old Justice League film, right? Yeah. Right, so this is a new one using all the footage they shot, but reassembled and in his own vision of what the thing should be. Well, the the they won't give us the the specific numbers, but apparently the movie that was released had only about 30, 20 to thirty percent of what Zach shot, mm. and clearly because it's a four hour film, clearly there's a lot of stuff that wasn't that wasn't put in there. Yeah. Wow. So, no, I mean, look, and this is the last thing I'm going to ask because we've kind of run out of time here, although we could go on forever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but uh, Shecky's a big DC fan. Are you looking forward to it? I'll watch it. But it's like coming to America, too. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. Not in any hurry to watch it. Yeah. And this apparently is a six parter. Even though it's four hours, it's like six separate episodes. All stitched together. What the hell? I don't know if there's a break. Like, okay, now it's time for episode two. You know, go to the bathroom. I'm not sure exactly how. Oh, there, been... I'm going to the bathroom during a four and a half hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like six. It's like a six parter that I don't know if that's how it's. It's all being released as one, but I don't know. Yeah. If after 45 minutes, you know. I mean, after a four hour and 30 minute picture, I, I may add that to my peeing in my pants to the repertoire of <laughs> we do in bed every night. <laughs> it depends, Alex. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Deutsch, comedy relief on our pop up yeah. show. By the way, if you want to see a movie, you'll be super disappointed. Watch that Nomad Land that's on Hulu with. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so, awful. Right. Frances oh, McDormand, really? it just oh, makes man. me uncomfortable watching her. I like her, but the movie. I like was, her, and she was I, great, but the movie was so depressing. Ugh. Here's what I don't get. Okay, we'll go over a couple of minutes. Here's what I don't get. You know what got a lot of nominations for everything? Bang. Borat. Yeah. Uh, Did you watch yeah, it? But Mank, it was Mank funny. got 10 watch nominations. Mank got more nominations for the Academy Awards than any other picture, which means what? it's not going to get it, win any. Mm-hmm. What did? Oh, I don't think it'll win anything. Maybe best costumes or it something. It shouldn't like win that. anything. Which, which Maybe is- Amanda Seyfried, but I don't think so because I'm sure there are several yeah, they're not gonna minor give it- performers right. in the same category. <laughs> Exactly. Um, uh, you know who I think was very good? You were right when you said it. Terrible movie, good performance, was the uh, uh, Audra Day or whatever her name is, who was in oh, Billy Holiday woman, versus the United the States. The Billy Holiday thing. Yeah. Did she get nominated? I didn't even... Yeah, she, did. she did. She did. Yeah. She was very good. She was very in good. In what is a really mediocre film. Yeah. This, that, then you saw Borak got nominated for the Chicago 7 movie. Jesus. Yeah, well, no, no. What's his name? Got no, I know. nominated for playing Abby Hoffman. Yeah. yeah. Did you see it, Alex? He was very good. He was. Very, and you know something? I knew Abby very well. I mean, Abby was a was a, a pal. Okay. Very few people I just call that, you know, but I, he was a friend, a really close friend. So I knew him. So I, I, I went into watching this movie wanting to dislike uh, him doing Abby. He did Abby perfectly, you know, the essence of what Abby was. And mm. it wasn't an impression, it was the essence of what he was. Unlike the Jerry Rubin, That's... who was terrible, I thought. Yeah, I, most of the other people, yeah, I knew all those people, okay? Yeah. Every one of them, except for, uh, uh, what's his name, the, the black guy who they tied to a chair? Bobby Seal. Bobby, Bobby Seal. Seal. Uh, and I even met Bobby Seal at one point, but I knew all the others, uh, including their lawyer. Dave Dellinger. Uh, not Dave Dellinger. William Kunstler. Uh, but, uh, what? William Kunstler. Win- William Kunstler. Kunstler yeah. uh, but I knew Dave Dellinger. I knew uh, Kunstler. I didn't, oh, I didn't know Tom Hayden. But everybody hated Tom Hayden anyway. He's a politician. Yeah, he was a yeah. politician. He, he didn't want to go on trial with the rest of them because in his words, and I, this is what Abby said, in his words, 
uh, I'm better than they are. You know, I don't deserve to be on trial with them. I deserve to be on trial alone. Wow. Ego, ego, ego. Hey, listen, we've gone way over time. As I always say, I always call Shecky right after the show is over. And I always say to him, this is so much fun. If, uh, Alan, this is your first time you do the night show. Isn't this more fun than the night show? Yes, yes. Yeah. And <laughs> Don't only, tell only, anyone, because, Alan. only because we get to hear about Andrew getting stuck today. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Don't you? You're not allowed to talk about Fauci's little prick in my arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a private thing. Thank you, Shaggy. Thank you, man. We always, Mandy. I get always get a note from people on the on the you know on the YouTube uh, page going, "Oh, where's Mandy this week?" That's so sweet. Yeah. Our mascot. <laughs> Uh, I know, I was still Steve kind of busy Bender. today. I didn't get to talk much, but you know got what? to listen. But, I, you know, of course, I replayed the shows, and I'm like, those were such good shows, and I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> they had, like, really good topics. Like last Steve week Bender, good. always a pleasure to have you here. I, I like you on here, especially because I can almost see you from here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I like, yeah. And you are going to have to come up and see us. You really well, are. You yeah, know? Well, As I say, you're invited to Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> I believe we're going to do that on Long Island with real with Reg family. You could do it this year. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Charlie Wallace, thank you so much. Uh, deep in the heart of uh, maskless, uh, no uh, separation between people, Texas, which is going to be a new infectious hot spot in the United yeah. States. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, we're going to pass New York in deaths. For That's this. right. <laughs> Right. Well, uh, California already passed. Already it, so did, there's no yeah. reason why if you don't work hard enough and God knows your governor's <laughs> trying, yeah. you can do it too. Len LaFrisco, great talking to you. Alan, nice to have you on uh, during this time of the day. You fit in very nicely with all these fine folks. I'm in my work shirt. You can see it's all wrinkled. <laughs> Andrew Deutsch, thank you. Mike Chisholm, thank you. Marjorie Miller, Ah, finally! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let the fart wars begin. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be, we'll, we'll sit down. We'll watch uh, John Oliver and stink up the room. Uh, <laughs> Scott Boddicker. Oh, it kind of quiet today, but uh, uh, he's right there in Texas with Charlie Wallace, just up the road. He is actually in uh, Plano, Texas, Everybody. which is the home of Snapple. I like to remind you of that, <laughs> right? But do you ever drive by the Snapple corporate headquarters? Oh, okay. And Jeff Stein, always good seeing you. Thank everybody, you have a nice week. We'll see you back here uh, next Monday. Okay. So bye, bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. There they